Welcome to day 12 of 30 Days of Calm. It's getting hard to keep count, which I suppose is a good thing. I'm approaching the halfway point of this project and it's feeling good. It's feeling like I'm having a physical benefit every day. The, there is the extra stress of getting around to the filming part of things and the editing. But that just gives me something to look forward to on day 30 where I can continue this practice without that as an interruption. Mm, let's hope so, because a committing to 30 days of, pra of, of, of practice and meditation is great, but then also doing the editing and the fuss that comes with that, it adds a dynamic to the situation that certainly can remove from the calming aspect of it. But that's why we're here and we're going to crack on and we're going to do it. So I'm going to get to the meditation and I'll see you on the other yourself to sink into the fullness of this moment. This is the 12th day of 30 days of calm. I feel pretty bloody calm. <laughs> I suppose that's the important thing. I have been physically exhausted by some of the work I've been doing, so I feel like that's benefiting the feeling of, of calm. And to anyone who doesn't think they'll have time for this kind of practice, this is certainly proof that you can. If you have literally half an hour between having a shower and the next thing that you've got to do, you've got time to do this. Less than half an hour, it's only 10 minutes. Today's subject was on appreciation of the world around you. How often do we miss the opportunity to just appreciate what's here and what's now when we know just how much there really is. Appreciation, appre appreciation is a hugely important thing. I'm 27, turning 28 this year, and learning to appreciate a lot of things. I no longer worry so much, but then at the same time, I know what's important to me. Uh, my father passed away a couple of years ago and ever since then like I try to make an effort to appreciate the things that I know won't be there forever especially the relationships and the family and the friends and the opportunities that arise to make the most of those relationships um, it's not always easy and you're not always going to get on with people and you know Life can be difficult in that way, but I think I spent too much of my time trying to escape the life that I didn't think was for me. It took quite a bit of time to realise how much in there I actually loved and appreciated. And sometimes with practices like this, I can sit and we can sit and, and, and just smile and be grateful for the people in our lives. The roof over my head, the heating, the food, so much to be grateful for. Anyway, blabbed on for ages. Probably have to edit half of this out again. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you once again for joining me. This has been another lovely session. 30 Days of Calm, Day 12.